it's the 28th of June, it's um, 7 o'clock, we're in London, yeah, I'm going to do a tour of all the water uh, buildings in the centre uh, and the east side of town, so why don't you come along and join us, see some of uh, the buildings that you might not have uh, ever seen if you haven't visited some of the details of London. We're going to be riding across the centre, we're going to go out to the east and there's some pretty amazing buildings on our way so come and join us. The curved building at the back is a laboratory and the gardens on the site of the reservoir. The new river, it was cut from uh, a spring about 30 kilometers to the north and it was an open canal and it fed into this reservoir you can see on the left. It came down um, Rosebery Avenue which was the street we cycled up and from here the water was fed by pipes to the city of London below down the slope down to the city. We decided to cycle around the perimeter and see what else we could spot around the back. head is in the center of this drawing you can see the reservoir and some pools behind next to the reservoir you can see the windmill the windmill is still um, possible to spot today you can see the round base of it 
chopped off at the top there and there's an old pump house behind <laughs> The ring main is a looped tunnel which supplies fresh water across central London and this is one of the access points to it. You can see there's the uh, section of the tunnel there behind the hedge to show um, the size of it. At this point, we'd done the loop of the New River Head. Um, that's looking back down to the New River HQ at the bottom there. We cycled back down to Rosebury Avenue and headed down to Soho to our next stop.
His job title was Chief Engineer of the Metropolitan Board of Works and this is his memorial where it says Sir Joseph Bazalgette, Engineer of the London Main Drainage System and of this embankment. Underneath us there's the Underground Railway on the right there and on the left you can see the subway which held the gas and water pipes and below it the main sewer which kind of acted as a wall against the Thames. These are the works, you can see Charing Cross in the back, they'd open the footway on the left to pedestrians but the underground was the last bit that they finished down the middle. We cycled off, we crossed the embankment gardens, this is all reclaimed land which was part of the project to find the, where the Thames came to before this and you can see the gate there where it came up to. You know what this is don't you? What's it called again? It's called, well it's the water gate, um, it used to the Thames used to come up to here. You'll see there's an explanation about it over there. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's hard to imagine the, the Thames coming up this far. Yeah, before they built the embankment. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was quite a project, wasn't it? Yeah, just like now the sewage project. Yeah. The new one, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can see it when you go on, um, when you go on the river, you can see Oh, those, yeah, right, that's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh. you know, that's where they're building okay. um, the air tunnels that are coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the, for the new, bigger one, right? It's yeah. just, it's an upgraded version. Yeah, right? from Basel Jet's one. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, this one's also done for 100 years to build. Another 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> Progress. Right, See you. Your, enjoy your walk. Yeah, you enjoy your cycling. Thanks. This gateway marks the position of the north banks of the River Thames, yeah. Before the construction of the Victorian moment in 1862. Yeah. The Thames Tideway Tunnel is a 25 kilometre long tunnel. You can see it here running from West London under the Thames before it goes out to Abbey Mills pumping station in the east and down to the Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. The sewer is needed uh, today at peak times. The sewers can't handle all the capacity and sometimes the sewers overflow into rivers like the Thames and the River Lee. So this will certainly clean the water up around London and it will also offer some new public space, much like Embankment Gardens. Um, the architects Hawkins Brown of, of this uh, deck, you can just see building, are going to build out a 200 metre long pontoon, which will stretch up to the bridge and will offer a new public space to look out onto the Thames. The sculptures here plant by Nathan Coley and it will offer a new view over the river.
esperas 